Hey, oh, your friendly neighborhood quarter guy here, and uh, now that the backer demo of Mighty No. 9 is in my hands, I might as well give my first impressions of it. I've played through the first couple stages, and I have to say, the mechanics are definitely good. The gameplay is definitely there. However, in terms of presentation, it is somewhat lacking. And part of it may be due to the fact that, uh, well, I noticed something in the title bar that the game is running using DirectX 9. Which I find to be a strange move considering newer versions of DirectX exist. Specifically, DirectX 10, 11, and in the case of Windows 10, DirectX 12. So, it seems like a strange decision, unless the game actually started development when DirectX 9 was the best you could do. Which, in, which to be honest, I kind of doubt. And, to be honest, even if the game was good, I think uh, it would take a lot more than that to make up for all the... all the uh, delays and uh, milking of the, fran of the uh, game before it even released. I mean... Seriously. You're trying to raise funds for a, an animated series, a live-action movie, more DLC... Before the game even comes out, I'd say that is a very poor business decision. Especially from someone who is considered to be the father of Mega Man, when in reality, he didn't do as much as many people think he did. I can see why people are burned out on Kickstarter now. Even though, to be honest, the, the, the Kickstarter for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which is the spiritual successor to Castlevania, Looks like it's going in the right direction. At least they set a reasonable release date of 2017 for Bloodstained, so they've got plenty of time to make sure everything works the way they want it to and that it looks good. But at this point, I only really feel that the Mighty Number no. 9 campaign was successful as it was was because of the angst of Mega Man fans over the way Capcom had been treating Mega Man at that point. Though at this point, Capcom really seems to be trying to push Mega Man in other ways at this point, like the uh, Archie comic, which is coming up to the end of its run, the uh, upcoming Me CG Mega Man movie. Oh wait, not CG, live action, is it? I keep forgetting. Then there's the Mega Man animated series. Hopefully a new game will come out of all this exposure for Mega Man. People still love Mega Man, that much is true. But at this rate, it... And also, at this rate, I won't be surprised if Kojima announces a Kickstarter for his spiritual successor to Metal Gear. Because, at this rate, it's pretty much an inevitability that it's going to happen. Anyways, updates. Castlevania month. First countdown is pretty much edited and ready to go. Just waiting for a couple things. And it should be released on October 3rd. Hopefully I'll be able to get a new countdown in the, each week through the rest of the month. Considering how well, how quickly I go through editing with quality, I shouldn't have any trouble getting all the countdowns done by the end of the month. So look forward to those. I'll also be streaming at least the first Castlevania game, and I've gotten some pretty good requests for other games to play. Though if you're interested in buying those games, buy them used. Konami won't get a cent from used game sales. <laughs> Anyways, for my question of the week, now this is coming back to Kickstarter, have you ever regretted backing a Kickstarter project? As always, leave your answers in the comments below. I'll select my favorite answers and feature them on next week's episode. Here are last week's winners. And with that, it's time for the fourth wall mailbag. Remember me to send me your questions via YouTube personal message. That's how I answer my questions. First question comes from Leonardo Juan, who asks, If you had a BFG, what would you do with it? Well, to be honest, I would, I would keep it locked up and keep it out of the hands of idiots. Because... 
There are at least a few trigger-happy people who would want to get their hands into something like that and cause total chaos, and, uh, yeah, it would be in the best interest of everyone if something like that was locked away, far away. That is, unless there was a zombie apocalypse, then, then I'd go right ahead. Because, let's be honest, no zombie can stand up to the BFG. <laughs> Next question comes from Lance the Autobot, who asks, Hey, Quarter Guy, what's your opinion on the Monster Hunter RPG that is being worked on? Ah, yes, Monster Hunter Stories. I might have brought this up at one point, but uh, to be honest, it looks like a lot of fun, and it looks simply adorable. I mean, I got the kid riding a baby Rathalos. Um, that looks just so awesome, and so, to be honest, so cute. Heck, I'm looking forward to it. Along with Monster Hunter Cross, of course. Hey, and hey, there's actually an anime being worked on based on Monster Hunter stories. That looks like it'll be awesome. Next question comes from Isobel Heath, who asks, Have you played the Jack and Daxter games? I have not, actually. Though I hear they're good. Jack 1 and Jack 3 in particular. I hear Jack 2 isn't quite as good, and I hear Jack X Combat Racing is... Eh. But they look like good games. Jack seems like a well-developed protagonist throughout the series. And Daxter looks like a real crack-up, to be honest. Yeah. And then, of course, there's Count Vigor. No, I'm not doing the joke. But if I find time, and yeah, to be honest, time can be at a premium for a video maker like me, I, I may try out the series at some point. Feel free to recommend a starting point for me if you if you think I should try it. Next question comes from the Potato King, who asks, What is your thoughts on the new Angry Birds movie trailer? First of all, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm sorry, but sometimes bad grammar can get on my nerves. Anyways, I'm still dumbfounded as to why they're making an Angry Birds movie in the first place. I mean... It is a mobile game where you shoot birds at, at structures that house pigs. In fact, from what I understand, it's not even an original idea. It's pretty much a copy of another game. And to be honest, it dumbfounds me that they could make a movie off of this. And from the trailer, it just seems really derivative. Just... I don't see myself seeing that movie, to be honest. Last question comes from Metal Sonic, who asks, What would be your reaction if Rabbit Luigi actually did a butt countdown? I would laugh my butt off seeing the butt saga come to fruition like that. Oh, before I go, uh, here's a reminder. If you haven't already, check out the check out the game that I've helped with called I Like Money or How I Almost Died on a Game Show on Steam Greenlight. We are looking for feedback, honestly, and uh, the more feedback we get, the better we can make the game. Thank you. See you next week.